Hello everybody, it's I, the Waluigi Big Mac, and welcome back to Sam and Max Save the World. Last time we, we pretty much completed episode one, uh, Culture Shock, I believe it's what it's called. Right now we're, right now we are in episode two, uh, in the previous episode, we, we start, we did start, uh, episode two previously. Uh, a few rats stole, uh, uh, stole some shaving cream from Bosco, who is now British for some reason. Oh, there they are. Where are we going, Sam? <laughs> the skin buddies can't be stopped. Hey. Yep. After those rats. I mean, I mean, I come back. I'm, I did not you luck today. <laughs> there they are. Let's get them. How do those laughably small wheels move so fast? You'll never catch us. The skin buddies can't be stopped. Well then. Take the wheel, little buddy. I thought you'd well, never ask. Well, we got ourselves a, a gunfight. Shoot him, Sam. I'm trying, but they have good reflexes. Yeah, well, I think we... Let's see. Oh. Let's see, there has to be something we can do to... Missed him. <laughs> the skin buddies can't be stopped. You can't dodge my shots forever. Watch it. The skin buddies can't be stopped. Missed him. <laughs> the skin buddies can't be. All right then. We could try. I I see it. I saw a few ramps. So maybe maybe let's, maybe try maybe let's try ramping off something. If it if if it ever decides to show up, you can't dodge my shots forever. Watch it! The skin buddies can't be stopped. Shoot him, Sam. I'm trying, but they. Hmm. All right, I feel like hmm. I feel like there's nothing I can do with this right now. Pro we're probably going to need a, a little something in order to uh, in order to deal with them. Sam, where the hell are you going? I thought I clicked on the goddamn car. Where are we go? <laughs> the skin buddy. Hey. Oh, hey, I can just skip uh, cutscenes like that. Uh, we're heading to TV studio. 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 Fuck Buddy. them rats. Well, here we are, Max. The TV station with programs too old to be contemporary, too new to be retro, but consistently derivative enough to be popular. WARP. Television so mindless, you can't help but watch. Oddly quiet in here. Mysteriously so. Well, mm. let's find this Myra character and smack some good old-fashioned sense into her. I don't care if we smack it into her or smack it out of her, just so long as there's smacking involved. You crack me up, little buddy. They're ready. Oh, well, let's talk to Max. Hey, Max. What is it, Sam? Any idea what cheap ripoff of an already lackluster show gets filmed on this set? Even Money says it's something tasteless or tawdry, but preferably both. Let's boogie, All little right. buddy. Thanks, thanks Lights, for your... thanks. camera, devil-barreled action. Thanks for your input, Sam. Or, Max, rather. Director's chair. It's got a falling star on it. Twinkle, twinkle, little star, how I wonder how you'll crash and burn. Uh, yeah. Yeah, I bet. 
that's kind of how I thought that was going to go go down. Let's, well, let's talk to Stand aside, people. casually attired stagehand. We're Sam and Max, freelance police. We've come to save some pathetic hostages from the clutches of... Okay, I'm going to stop you right there. Number one, I'm not a stagehand. I am the director. The director! Could I fool? Number two, we're no longer holding the auditions for animal cops with crippling mental disabilities and a lust for dance. Oh no, we're not actors. You got that right. I don't think I've ever seen worse acting in my entire life. And yes, I have seen Keanu Reeves' performance in Toast, the musical. <laughs> Sam, oh. I think my hypersensitive ego may need stroking. Don't look at me. Next! Who's next? You don't seem to understand. We're highly untrained police officers. Look, hats off for dedication, guys, but I'm just not buying the police act. I feel so invalidated. We're looking for Myra Stump, the darling hawk of- Do not mention that name in my presence. Which name, Myra or Stump? Either and or both. What's your beef with Myra? Let's just say Myra and I have creative differences. I'm creative, and she isn't. <laughs> I'm sorry, what was your question? You and Myra, why the hate? Look, Myra runs her show her way, and I run every other show my way. If she doesn't want me on her set, I could care less. You mean you couldn't care less. If you could care less, then you do care some, which doesn't really... No, I was right. I could care less, because I care even less about what you're saying right now. Oh, burn! Quiet, yeah. metalhead. What are you doing here, anyhow? What am I doing here? I'm holding auditions for Midtown Cowboys. What are you doing here? Midtown Cowboys? The critically panned but publicly adored sitcom about two cattle ranchers trying to make it in Midtown Manhattan? Yes, well summarized. You're hiring extras? No, I'm hiring the stars. The two main characters went on Myra a couple days ago and I haven't heard from them since. I need replacements ASAP. Sam, did you hear that? If we can pass one lousy audition, sitcom stardom will finally be ours! Oh boy! Rocketing to fame for the most insubstantial of reasons. That truly is the American dream. We'd like to apply for that instant stardom you promised? You want to audition? Well, if there were anybody else here, I'd tell you to forget it, but okay. All right! What do we do? I'm going to have you play a scene from Old Yeller. Tell me you've seen it. I'm not into horror movies. It's the classic boy gets dog, dog gets rabies, boy shoots dog story. Max, I want you to play the boy. Yes! Boy! That is so me! And Sam, you play the dog. Oh. Okay, Sam, ready. I need you to act like you've got full-blown rabies, understand? What's my motivation? You're a mad dog! Now, show me, rabbit! Um... Grrr. No, dig deep. You should be just frothing mad. Hmm. are you doing? Sorry, oh, I'm not hiring I don't know what went wrong. That, I was yeah, feeling so the, rabid. You look pretty disease-ridden to me. Come back after you've taken a few thousand acting lessons. Yep, okay, so we can't we can't really progress further without that shaving cream, so we need to figure out something fast. Well then, we have to go after the rats. So let's go ahead and do that. Where are we going, Sam? Hey! The TV studio. Shit. God damn it. From Yeah, 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 yeah. Get let's just get let's just get out of here. Those rats. There they are. Let's get them. How do those laughably small wheels move so fast? You'll never catch us. 
His skin body skin, right, so, he's dead. So, so obviously we have to use the gun. There's be, be something to stop him. Maybe, so maybe we have to wait for a bit. Missed him. <laughs> for a bit. Skin for now, I'll probably just stuff. keep shooting you guys. Like, there has to be like a man or something that, that we have to see in the distance. Probably, probably see him a bit, see a bit better. Worst case scenario, I can always jump cut to when I actually get it. But yeah, we need, we need to wait for like a manhole to show up. Whenever, whenever you that happens, I don't my know. Shots forever. Watch us! The skin buddies can't be stopped! Shoot him, Sam! I'm trying, but they have good reflexes. I, I don't see... I don't see anything that can stop them unless a manhole shows up. Okay, let's try driving to the right side. At least, at least we can drive off ramps. So yeah, I don't see anything here. Stop now, or we will take decisive disciplinary action. Never happen, Thomas. My shots forever. Watch us! The skin buddies can't be stopped. Shoot them, Sam. I'm trying, but they have good reflexes. Gah! There has to be something wrong here because, because that, because because uh, I looked, I looked up the guide while while trying to figure this out. A manhole is supposed to show up, and it's not shown up yet. Like I'm not sure how long you're supposed to wait on here. For one to, to show up, but and yet here we are. So, I, I'm probably gonna have to jump cut. So I will be right. So I'll I will be right back when I actually get this to work. Everybody, I'm back. I'm a moron. I have to wait for the sign to pop up, like right here. Yeah, it's the manholes you have been hiding behind the sign. Shots forever. Watch it. The skin buddies can't be stopped. There we go. Just, I just had to time it right. The skin buddies can't be stopped. Hey, the shaving cream. Okay, hold on tight, little buddy. There we go. God, that that should have that sh that should have not taken unnecessarily long. Uh, you get well. You guys get well. You guys get. Well, I'm giving you guys permission to laugh at me for being bad at that, but at least we at least we can move on now. We should return the shaving cream. Well, or at least pay for it. Who goes there? Oh, it's you lot. Another shaving cream. Hey, Bosco. We've retrieved your precious shaving cream. Jolly good show. Jolly good. Now, if you're wondering about the reward money, yes, we do accept personal checks and all major credit cards. No, as a reward for retrieving the can of shaving cream, I hereby grant you a can of shaving cream. Gee, thanks. Well, oh, that's so sad.
What's in the gumball machine? It looks like candy, but I'm pretty sure it's fish tank gravel again. I've had worse. These paper box has been Brady culture behind bars. He finally found a way to become famous. The police blotter. <laughs> Serves him right. Anyway, now that we have a shaving cream, if we have to play a, ra a, a dog with rabies, I think the best Where bet. Where are we going, Sam? The TV studio. I think Goody! the best bet would be to use the shaving cream to make us look like we have rabies. Maybe that'll help us. Oh, sorry, I had food in my mouth. Hello again. Yes? Can we take another crack at that audition? Fine. Let's take it from the top. Ready, Sam? Show me rabbit. Okay, and then we got the shaving cream. Brilliant! Now that's what I call diseased. Thank you. Thank you. First off, I'd like to thank all the little people who... Zip it. Okay, Max. I've just realized your dog is walking death, and you'll have to put him down for the good of society. Really? You're sad. You're despondent. You're grief-stricken. Now, show me the emotion. Uh, boo-hoo? You call that emotion? I've seen Myra show more emotion, and she ought to be declared a national Botox reserve. Grief, I said. Give me grief. Uh... Gun. Max. Cut! That has got to be the saddest sad performance I've ever seen. Is that good or bad? Bad. I'd recommend you try to think about dead puppies or something, but that's what the scene's about. And it didn't help. Come back when you can cry on cue. Oh, I, I get it. Hello again. Yes? Can we take another crack at that audition? Fine. Let's take it from Boy Gets Weepy. Ready, Max? Show me the emotion. Uh... There we go. <laughs> Perfect. Now, the fateful moment has arrived. Despite your immense grief, you must put your beloved companion out of his misery. Okay. Uh-oh. <gasps> Idiot! What demonic force possessed you to do that? The demonic force called acting, Sam. You should try it sometime. Good thing I had my anti-hypnosis helmet built into my head, or I'd have one too many holes in the head. Bravo. Bravo! Such realism. Such authenticity. I was convinced you were actually shooting him. How did you do the sound effects? You don't want to know. For the Midtown Cowboys is over. You're hired. Head to the center and we can begin filming immediately. Let's hurry, Sam. We only have 14 minutes and 55 seconds of fame left. Apple crates. Once used for apples, now used for derrieres. Well, time to head on set. All right, people, let's get the stage set up. The celebrity host will be here any minute. Oh, right. The crew's working on Myra. Stupid, no talent, fat face. Bit down, cowboys. Here we go. Huh. Weren't you just? I think she just defied the laws of physics. Sorry, you'd be amazed how many times a day I have to do that. Things tend to be hectic here. Doesn't bother us a bit. Sam and Max, consummate professional actors, reporting for duty. <laughs> you said duty, Sam. I knew you guys were right for the show. Speaking of which, could you perhaps explain the show a bit? Okay, here's the drill. On Midtown Cowboys, you play a pair of cattle ranchers trying to raise a herd in an apartment in Manhattan. My Uncle Ernie did that, except it was pigs. Oh, look, the, and look, not in there. an apartment. I only see one cow. It's a small herd. You're struggling, okay? Okay. You've got this landlord, Mr. Featherly, who has a very strict no-cows policy. Devilishly inconvenient. I begin to see from whence the hilarity sprouts. I read it. Yes, Featherly is always barging in, and you try to hide the fact that you have a cow in the apartment. Lots of sight gags, usually something gross winds up happening. Simple enough? Great. Where's the script? 
Well, there's a slight hitch. The cow ate most of the script, so you're going to have to ad-lib the show. Ad-lib? Yes, make it up as you go. Improvise. Well, I guess our regular life well, has given us plenty of practice. I think I know how to improvise Don't worry, this. you'll be working with Philo Pennyworth, who plays Featherly. He's a brilliant actor, classically hands, trained, club sure theater and all that. Bad. Just set him up to do something funny and he'll handle it from there. Check. Anything else? Actually, yes. We did save one line from the script, and it's really important to work it in, because it's the product placement that pays for the whole show. One of you will have to say the line. Me, me, pick me! All right, Max, your line is this. Better get the serious toothpaste. I like it already. All right. We're as ready as we're ever gonna be. Let's start taping the show. Okay, now remember, your landlord's at the door, and you don't want him to know you've got a cow in there. Ready? Action! They probably had it a cow. Open up in there! I know you're hiding Let a there cow. be light. Alrighty. Uh, we use the lampshade on the cow. There we go. Life of the party. Aha! I know you've got a... Well, well, well! Who's your guest, boys? This is the French chef we hired to satisfy our inexplicable, insatiable craving for omelets and duck a la range. And frog's legs. I like mine extra crispy. Oh, a French chef, eh? I love French bread and, and French fries! I went to Gay Paris one time myself, you know? It was back in my army days. Goodness, who left this lying here? Hey, Bossy. Bossy? That's a funny name. Say, what's this? Uh, I'm sorry, what was that you said? He said Mugu Gai Pan. It's a French dish the chef has just made. Whoa, super. I'll try some of that. Where's the plate? I can't help but feel this is all terribly wrong somehow. Interesting. That's one word for it. Hmm. There's a familiar flavor. Fennel, maybe? Kentucky bluegrass, I think. This moo moo whatever stuff is really good. Uh, what's it called in English? Cow pie. Really? Well, that's funny. It sounds just like. <laughs> Now? Now. <clears throat> Better get the serious toothpaste. Zoom in. And cut. Phew. That was comic gold. The network is going to love it. Naturally. I'll be in my dressing room refreshing my muse. Don't call me for at least an hour. <laughs> nice work, you guys. Here's a clip for your reel. Thanks. <sighs> Let's get the set back the way it was. There we go. Yeah, glad that worked out. In Manhattan, this counts as a view. If there's a leak, it counts as a water view. Studio door. Who's never going to be a millionaire? Mm, wait, Billy. Ooh, this, Look, Max, this is where we can play get our uh, set. Million Let's get in there and liberate her literally captive audience. Sam, forget the hostages. There's somebody famous. It's Hugh Bliss. Who Bliss? No, Hugh Bliss. Inventor of prismatology? Help millions unlock the power of their personal color spectrums? Right. The stage magician turned happiness guru. Like we didn't have enough of those already. I want to meet him. Fine. 
but if he magically pulls another rainbow butterfly out of somebody's ear, I'm leaving. Hi, Hugh Bliss. Hi, I'm Hugh Bliss. Yeah, we know. And you are Sam and Max, freelance police. <gasps> How do you know? Do you believe in magic? Cause I do. Dazzle us with a feat of ledger domain, why don't you? Yeah, okay, the magician, I'll show you the magic of prismatology in action. Pick a color, any color. Ochre, ochre. No, mauve. Burnt sienna. Uh, how about a color I've heard of, hmm? Pick a color, as long as it's red, green, or blue. Let's go with green. It's not easy being green. Oh, but it is with magic. <sighs> ah. I know what you're thinking. Is it real or is it illusion? There so, we go. Hugh Bliss, can we get a picture with you for our scrapbook of instantly forgettable memories? Splendid idea. I wish I'd thought of it. Oh, and in fact, I did. He, hence the camera. Now gather round. But how will you take the picture? By magic. Okay. Say, chocolate-covered puppies! Chocolate-covered chocolate -covered puppies. puppies! So where's the picture, Magic Man? Oh, my. I seem to have misplaced it. <gasps> hmm, check your pockets. Maybe I left it there. <laughs> Sorry to interrupt your little joy fest, but I've got a situation here. Never fear, pretty lady. Hugh Bliss is here. Yeah, yeah. Anyway, our game show host went on Myra hours ago, and he still hasn't come out. Think you can fill in till he gets back? Can a butterfly fly? Yes, it can. Oh, what do I do? When a contestant comes to the podium, just read him a question from the card. Then, when he gets it wrong, insult him and tell him to get off the stage. Oh, no, no. Prismatology teaches us to love everyone, no matter what. Right, just read the cards. Okay. I still love you. <sighs> All right, then. Podium. That's where I'd stand if I were the host, which I'm not. Alrighty, well, let's hop onto the podium and see uh, what happens here. We've got a contestant, people! Hit it! From also, somewhere deep within the bowels of WARP, it's Who's Never Going to Be a Millionaire? With special guest host, Hugh Bliss! I like how, I like Hi, how, I'm Hugh Bliss. I like how he's Our first contestants here. are a pair of professional freelance police officers. They enjoy firing their guns randomly and running over things. Please welcome Sam and Max. Listen, Sam, they love us. Welcome. You know the rules. If you can answer even one question correctly, you'll walk away a millionaire. Start loading the armored cars, Hugh. Because my brain's stuffed with enough worthless trivia to power a small Chilean village for decades. It's true! Okay, are you ready? Oh, happy day. It's an easy one! If a man sets out from the Horsehead Nebula in a spaceship traveling at thrice the speed of light, and his father leaves from Rigel 2 at the same time going half the speed, how many nanoseconds will it be before time paradox causes the first man never to have been born? I'm gonna go with my gut and say, Hugh Bliss. I'm flattered, but no, that is completely wrong. You lose! This is an outrage. I demand a recount. We do have a fabulous consolation prize. A copy of Emetics by me, Hugh Bliss. Man. No thanks. I'm content to leave with just my burning shame and newfound sense of inadequacy. Okay. Find out which poor schmuck will be the next to blow his chance at millions right after these messages. It's polite to knock. You do know we're taping a show here. Great day in the morning. It's Myra Stump herself! Yourself. 
How about letting your hostages go now? What do you say? Hostages? They're my guests. You know, if there's one that fries my burger, it's the rampant victim culture in American media today. Oh, boo-hoo. Myra's audience all got luxury minivans. Now they have to worry about where they're going to park. Bah. I know what you mean, Myra. It's like I'm always telling people, don't think of it as a bullet wound. Think of it as a transfusion opportunity. Man. Alrighty then. Seriously, we're officers of the law, more or less, and we'll have to insist that you free the hostages. Of course. Just as soon as the show's over. And when is that exactly? Oh, who can say? We still have so many gifting opportunities. I just found a year's supply of industrial strength soap backstage. I think I'll give that away. Or else have a valuable lesson on curing potty mouth. Can we come in and see the show? Can you? Don't you mean... Uh, may we come in and see the show? That's much better. No, we're at full capacity. The only people getting in now are famous people who are appearing on the show. Can't... may we appear as guests on your show? I excel at talking about myself. Are you famous? Perhaps. In an internet petition or there ought to be a law kind of way. Not good enough. I'll need evidence of your explosive star power. I blew up a public restroom last week. <clears throat> I want to see a copy of your recording contract for one thing. Well, what if we... Recording, contract, and a clip from your hit TV show. You're not anybody these days if you don't act and sing. Recording contract, TV clip. Piece of cake. No cake. I'm on a diet. But I will naturally need evidence of the latest juicy scandal you've been involved in. We have to be scandalized? Of course. What kind of show do you think this is? Dang. Are you Re sure you Re want us to answer oh. that? Look, it's very simple. Show me a recording contract, a clip from your TV show, and some evidence of a scandal, and I'll squeeze you in. Oh, is that all? As it happens, we brought a clip of our wacky hit sitcom, Midtown Cowboys. We're the stars. Well, I'm certainly impressed with how far standards for entertainment have fallen in this country. Um, hey! Thanks. But... You're also going to need a recording contract and a nice, juicy scandal to be a guest on my show. I'm gonna go get my autograph book. We'll be right back. It's too nice to stay indoors. You boys should go play outside. And you should stop making that face, dear. It'll stick if you're not careful. What face? Well... Game show questions? Apparently, WARP can't afford armed guards for their game show questions. That's cheating, Sam. Good thinking. Don't get your pretty long ears in a twist, little buddy. The answers aren't on here. In life, there are no answers. Only questions. Another prismatology credo? No, I read that in a cereal box. I'm seriously deficient in riboflavin, by the way. You're seriously deficient, all right. Nah. Oh, Hugh Bliss, we've got something for you. No, 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 no gifts. All I need is love. Sweet love. Emetics. Life troubling your digestion? Reality blocking your mm. passages? Expel your troubles with Emetics, the handbook for multicolored happiness. Hmm. Already got a copy. I read it every morning on the can. Multicolored happiness indeed. Well, I I just looked over at the time. We are out of time for, for today's episode. If you guys enjoyed the content that I do, please consider subscribing. I, I really appreciate it, as it'll help the channel grow and everything. Uh, with that being said, I, I hope you have a good day, afternoon, night, wherever you are in the world. And I'll see you guys in the next episode. Until then, have a good one. Bye-bye. <laughs>